So uh, with this experiment, um, we were we wanted to run a test for um, one of our for-profit clients uh, who um, looks to contract with existing cleaners and to match them up uh, with customers um, looking to have their homes cleaned. Um, and so um, on this landing page, um, what we were looking to uh, increase were the number of um, cleaners who would complete their onboarding application. Um, so it's one application. So here on the control, you can see um, that users would enter some basic information, click get started, and then they would be dropped into the onboarding funnel. For our variation, what we did is um, we wanted to see what, uh, how much of a lift we could create by displaying um, their uh, expected uh, earnings um, or the amount that they could earn per hour um, by uh, looking at their zip code. So uh, a user here just entered in their zip code, they would get this range spit out to them, then they would click get started and get dropped right back into that same funnel as users in the control. And so the, what we wanted to do was find out um, you know, what that impact would be. And so the question here is whether or not you all think that by displaying the potential earnings, um, that we would be able to increase the number of uh, users entering the funnel as well as uh, you know completing the year, their onboarding. So what questions do you all have? I have a quick question on this, Matt. So you, mm -hmm. uh, sorry, just to clarify, like page load is enter zip, get started. Yep. Page two is you can make X to X per hour, get started. Page three takes you back to the control. Correct. Which is first name, like personal information, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, exactly. So don't be too distracted by the number of get started CTA clicks and whether or not you think that is a good experience or not. <laughs> it is true. Matt's like, ignore that. that. Is... <laughs> <laughs> um, Do they have to put yes. in zip code again? No. Okay, so it like oh. it's the the third step of the variation, they just have to put in first name, last name, email? Correct. Okay, thank you. Are pay rates pretty competitive? Like, is it enough to motivate people? Um, yes. I mean, they are competitive. Whether or not they're enough to motivate people, um, I mean, that's kind of what the test was looking at. I'm assuming this is primarily desktop that people, that your audience is. Oh, actually it's desktop and mobile. So this was run on desktop and mobile, but I will say that the mocks were much prettier for desktops. So that's why I wanted to include them here. Um, but it is ultimately the exact, the steps are exactly the same. The only difference is that more of the copy covers the individual's face. Okay. That's okay. So no judgments there, please. <laughs> And is the, how is the audience split though? Is it like pretty 50 50? More mobile. It is actually more, more mobile. mobile for, okay. Yeah. Yep. But for this presentation, the desktop again was just more, was prettier. Okay. And so I'm assuming your primary metric for success is number of final submits. Correct. Successfully onboarding. Okay. Yep. Even though that's much further down the funnel, but that was our primary metric. And I'm sure you were keeping track of all the inputs. Yes. Yep. Um, great. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Thumbs up variation. Thumbs down control. Let's see. What do we got? Uh, oh, we have more of a split than I thought. Yeah. Me is the only flat. Okay. Calling you out as the only one. Okay. okay cool. Yeah, show us results. All right. Oh. It was a huge <laughs> lift across the board. <laughs> I, like the, I like that chart. I like that chart. That's really good. It's, it's very clean, right? It's very, very clean. Um, yeah, so this was a huge win overall. Um, and we have just been iterating off of this ever since. Um, so it's uh, you know really, really exciting to see this happen. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to have more ideas sent directly to your inbox.